Welcome to Real Road Homestead. Today we are going to get new chicks. Um, we're getting ready to leave right now. We have the brooder all set up. Uh, Greg's going to get the pine in it and the water's filled and the food's filled or the feeds, whatever, the food dishes filled um, And while we're gone. And then he's going to get the Brinzia, I don't know if I'm saying that right, the Brinzia heat plate ready. It's our first time using that, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but we are going to head over to the post office right now, Jaden and I, and get the baby chicks. So we'll see you in a minute. So we're at the post office now. We just went in and got the baby chicks and we are going to head home and get them in their brooder with some heat and water and food. Okay, so we got their water ready, the plain water over there. And then right here we got some electrolytes and probiotics and just some stuff to give them a boost. We got them some food in there. And then back in there we have the Brinzia I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but we're gonna try that and see if it works. Hopefully it works. New. We've never tried it before. But it's pretty warm in here anyway, so um, I'm gonna hand this over. Oh, we're gonna take a so picture of them. Get them out, and I'm gonna dip their nose in water, or their beak, I should say. says two female white langshans, one female partridge cochin, one female buff cochin, one female white cochin, one female crevacore, a female white rock, and one male white langshan. And then a free surprise chick. So what do we got? He's in the water. Oh, how, how many do we got there? I wonder one, if those two, are too three, big four, for them. Five, six. It might be, it one, might drown. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. It might, it might get stuck underneath too. Okay, this little one wants to peck me. Feather leg. We might have to get him a smaller. Small water. Yep. Because that. That's too big. Yeah, I kind of think so. Is that one. That one could have drowned it. Is that it? And that's all of them. I don't know. None of them died. They all made it. So. That's nine. We got eight. There should be nine. Two, two four. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. Okay. I don't know. I count. Yeah, there's <laughs> nine. All I can say is that we get them different waters. Um, <clears throat> because that, they could drown in those. Yeah, yes. It's very possible. Big time. So... <clears throat> They're in their new home for right now. We're gonna get smaller waters because these are pretty big waters. Um, hopefully they'll find their way over here where the food is. I'm sure they'll start looking. They're very active, which is really good. Yes. Now one kind of plotted on its head after I got, on, got them out of the water. But... Well, there's the buff coach and I can see that. So the Langshans must be the ones. So you mean their black feathers are gonna completely go away? They should, yeah. Let's let them out because these guys are covered now. Oh, yeah. I know. So hopefully they'll find their way over here um, to the food and to the heat source. Jaden, can you hold this? I'm going to check and see if that's heating up really quick before the cats get over here. Yeah, I mean, it's heating up. It's not hot. Um, 
But like I said, it's it's warming. What do you think, babies? I really don't know. Mm -hmm. I think a heat lamp would be overdoing it. Yeah. Make sure it's just shut. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, when she sees them. I think after a little bit, they'll get used to them. <laughs> Drinking and running around. Oh, we got one that found its way over there. So right now we've got the first batch of our chickens taken care of. They're in their brooder. Um, they've got fresh water with the electrolytes and the probiotics in them. We've got their food in there and we've got the Brenzia the heat pad in there for them. We're trying it this time instead of a heat lamp. Um, we're getting another 30 chicks tomorrow. So I'm going to continue this video tomorrow. Uh, but as for today, I'm going to stop it here because we have taken care of these nine baby chicks. So we will see you guys tomorrow. So it's the next day and we are headed over to get the rest of the baby chicks that we ordered. It's the last batch, and um, we're going to get them home and put them in with the other nine. So far, the other nine are doing okay. Um, so we're going to go get them, and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back at home, and we've got the baby chicks. In this batch, we have 30. And we're going to open this up, and hopefully they all survived. It looks like they all did. Oh my goodness, we got some more floofy heads. Black floofy heads. Oh, they look so cute. Don't peck him. Okay, so we are going to get these little babies' noses dipped in and get them in their new home. <laughs> checking everything out so that's that um, we got both oh, no. of our batches of baby birds chick baby chicks and we're just gonna do everything that we've done in the past to keep them healthy and growing and 
We'll keep you guys posted and updated. Um, check out our Instagram on how page. they're doing. Yeah, I'm gonna post some pictures. Check out our Facebook, Row Road Homestead, uh, Instagram, Row Road Homestead, of course, and uh, our website, uh, RowRoadHomestead.com. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our channel, share our video. That really will help us out. Uh, give it a thumbs up. That helps us out as well. And Hit that we'll like button. <laughs> and we'll do what we can to keep posting videos. Thank you so much for coming along with us. I don't know if this is going to be a short video or not, but I wanted to at least show you our new members of our family here on the homestead. So until next time, you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And see you next time. And we're going to get these guys shut up so we can let the kitties back out so the kitties can check them out. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you later. Bye.